DI Central is a Microsoft partner and seamlessly integrates the EDI process into D365, speeding up the order to cache processing and eliminating the manual errors by validating the EDI data on a single unified system of record. This demo will show the process of receiving a purchase order from our customer into D365. Once the order is posted and ready to go, we will show how to notify the customer of your acknowledgement of that order, send them an ASN or advanced shipment notice, and then send the invoice all from within Business Central. Here you are at the sales order processing screen from within BC. You can access the in integration of EDI from the menu right here, showing the advanced ship notices, import, out, exported documents, everything from this menu, or use the dashboard. Here you see we have three documents ready to import and none ready to export. I'll go ahead and click on the import documents. And I see I have some orders waiting. Take one of these orders and we'll import it. Here we see the order. I can go ahead and click on the order number. Once I open the order, first thing I might want to do is let the customer know that I've received the order. I can do that by simply clicking acknowledgement that's been created. Once I've accepted the order, I want to be able to post that order into my sales order processing. I can do that by sending out a ship notice, an invoice, or a ship and invoice. I'll do both for purposes of the demo. If you want to see the invoice, go ahead and open it up whenever the screen arrives here, or you do it anytime later on. But at least here you can take a look my invoice is all done and ready to go. If I go back to the main dashboard at this point, I can see I now have two documents ready to export. But I may not be done with it yet. I'm going to go back, open up that order again. And from here, I just wanted to point out that by looking at the functions, there are many other items you can handle, such as within each order. You can create the sales order acknowledgement. You can also do packaging and generating labels. Naturally, if you're working with a warehouse management system, such as InsightWorks, the acknowledgements, the labels can all be handled from there and passed directly to us through full integration. Just to keep this simple now, we do need to send an advanced ship notice. From here, I'm going to open up the advanced ship notice and select new. Enter my custom number, or I can look it up, go down and see which orders we're going to be shipping. I'm going to select the latest one. And click OK. And at that point, I'm able to send out the advanced ship notice. Again, going back to the main menu, sales order processing, I'm able at any time to go to my dashboard and see that I now have three documents ready to export. I have the acknowledgement the advanced ship notice, and the posted invoice all completed and ready to go. If I wanted to see what the acknowledgement or the invoice looks like on the way out in an EDI format, I can just click on one of those and hit export to file.
you can see what the EDI document actually looks like. I'm doing that because it's locking up because I don't have a um, connection to my trading partner in this demo. So we've seen a purchase order come in. We've created the acknowledgments, the advanced ship notice, and the invoice. Additional features available from DI Central are the alerts. You can have push notifications letting you know when there's purchase order arrivals, upcoming ship dates, past due shipments, etc. In addition, we have management tools which will allow you to quarantine or alert in certain situations. For instance, after send an invoice after an ASN, quarantines the invoice from proceeding if the ASN or advanced ship notice has not been sent and alerts you to the violation. We have several metrics you can take a look at, mismatched document types, requesting ship dates with no ASN transmitted, and so forth. 